Okay, as promised, I'm going to be discussing some of the changes that I've done already to this guy here. And if you've been looking at my videos and my previous uh, photographs and things that I've been posting on this one, you're going to see some changes here. Some, uh, some major changes, I and mean, I'm going to be talking about those changes uh, as I go through this uh, setup here. Um, let me go to the shade here because it's a uh, freaking sun. Okay, so the uh, I'm rocking on my chair here. Oh boy, what did I do here? Uh, the first thing that I wanted to do is, as I've been mentioning in my other videos, as I was getting uh, uh, a lot of scrubbing on my wheels as I turned them, it was like uh, you know, the, the car w was locking up as I, as I was turning, and I was trying to find out what the heck was, was going on here. So I checked my camber, I checked my caster, I checked the kingpin inclination. Nothing out of the ordinary as far as the uh, the way it's done on, on racing go karts. And this is uh, inspired by a, a, a real race race car, uh, racing car dimensions and uh, kind of the style. As far as the angles, also on the on, on the way I originally did this. And so I decided to just got out the whole front end and, and, and start from scratch. I did maintain the, the brace that you see there, that brace right behind this bar right here. There's a brace right there. I did this, decided to maintain that brace and maintain that, that connection right there to this front end here. And so what I did is I, I, I did this right here. Instead of just having one, one bracket uh, holding the, the, um, the spindle, you know, those homemade spindles that I did with conduit, now you see that the spindle is a, a little bit different because now it has two two places, the in a horizontal, the, uh, almost like a uh, 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 track type of, uh, setup here with uh, two connectors here. These are make it, maker pipe connectors, and I use the upper and the lower one to create my my C bracket and for supporting this spindle here, which is also done with uh, maker pipe connectors. I, I didn't change that. It has a direct bolt to uh, to uh, to attach the tire, and I did uh, some new um, uh, some new uh, 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 arms, you know, for the uh, control rods. And I'll, exp I'll explain those in another while what happened there. So, first of all, first of all, I wanted to have this nice and solid, and that's the reason why I did this. I didn't want to introduce any uh, any camber. And that's the reason for the parallelism here of this uh, of these rods right here. So uh, these wheels should be should have no caster whatsoever. However, because this is done with maker pipe connectors, and I have yet to um, reinforce that uh, connector that you see here. There has an extra hole there, and that was previously the, the one that I was using as my support for my spindle. That one needs a, a bolt right through the the tubing right here. To be able to um, have this uh, more m more in line with this, otherwise, with the pressure and the, my weight on these wheels, this kind of wants to give a little bit that way. And so, both of these need need actually bolts right right through the pipe right here, or they these pipes need to be um, pressed uh, with a die to create the uh, this uh, dent on the inside of the pipe, so that when I insert it, the pipe inserts all the way in inside here. And it creates a, um, uh, and, and it has a hole so that this attaches more rigid, you know, to the pipe. That's the way I, I did. Uh, that's the way I did this one right here. This, uh, this, this connection right here. That's the way that pipe is done. That's the way that pipe is done. And all the horizontals, they're done that way with with a die there, a three D printed die that I created to make these dents so that the pipe goes all the way in. Unfortunately, I didn't, I, um, I didn't spend the time to do that. And I was trying to maintain the same distance uh, from uh, kingpin to kingpin, uh, and so that's why I, I just inserted the, the bars right here. So these bars are just they they come up to here; they're not fully inserted right there. With this setup right here, you do need a pin right through it. And so, in order not to drill through the connector, you know, uh, make it kind of ugly, you know, I did that that die, you know, to flatten the the, the, the pipes. And so, my next. Uh, uh, modification would have to be to these pipes, you know, to flatten the end so they go come in all the way so that this So only you use one bolt here right through it and you don't need two, two bolts out here you, re you really don't need two bolts if you do it the way I did the rest of them, you know, with that with that with that flattened uh, end it, it, It's a customized um, um, Customized modification that has to be done to this pipe, you know, with the dies that I created to uh, give you the indentation here so that it, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't require the second hole but 
that would be one one way to do it or or, or to to drill the hole so that's coming up uh some other time but for for now it's it's a lot better than it was before because i'm getting more rigidity more support on the uh on the uh, uh, axle of the wheel, and so it's providing a little bit of camber that way. I think it's called positive camber on the wheel when I sit due to my weight. And so that's, uh, it's kind of, and it's because these connectors, you know, they need to be a lot tighter and a lot more more reinforced. So same thing on the other end mirror image. So that, that's one of the things I did. It's a lot better, like I said, in terms of a front end this way. And I also reinforced the, uh, um, I also have a little bit of uh, caster here, so yeah, yeah, I can introduce the caster really easy through um, uh, through the angle of this pipe right here. So if I angle that pipe, this whole setup right here, if it didn't have the, these braces right here, it would it would be able to tilt back, and you could adjust that the caster angle that way. Uh, and so I have a little bit of caster angle. You can probably see it right there. On, on that it's leaning maybe about two or three degrees of caster. Uh, and to reinforce that and to lock up that angle, I did these bars right here, which are kind of interesting. I mean, uh, it's, it's not the really, uh, I, I had these bars already bent, and so I reused, uh, you know, what, what I had. Uh, I, re I didn't really want these bent like that, you know, kind of with, with this hump right there. I really wanted them straight, but I didn't want to waste material, and so I reused these uh, curves right here, and they came out, you know, came out pretty good. Yeah, you could put a plate there, you know, a number plate, and uh, it would uh, it would look like an interesting uh, go kart. I removed the the front end as well, just to minimize some of the weight from here. It's uh, the front bumper. Uh, I can still add it. I still have the bumper all in its full assembly, and uh, my bumper also creates a footrest. Um, so right now my footrest is is right here, which is too close to my to the seat. I have to ball leg my my legs quite a bit in order to sit here uh, comfortably so my uh, my bumper with the foot rests is, 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 is going to have to be uh, installed here just to make it a little more comfortable or I need to relocate the seat a little bit further back here um, this is almost like a glove fit here unlike this one right here this one is really really comfortable this, uh, this other one that I did, that I did you know recently very simple uh, it has a little more complexity, but it's it, you know it's it's uh, once you're sitting there, it, it's it's quite comfortable if you can stretch your legs beyond this this point here with the bumper and the footrest. But is this right now? It's um it's a tight glove fit uh, fit uh, as you're sitting here. So that was uh, my my main the main thing that I wanted to uh, to fix is the front end. So I decided to do that. Um, my um, my steering. I like my steering at the back. I don't like my steering at the rear, and that's why all my all my uh, cars, with the exception of the first one that I did with telescopic tubing, has the control uh, controls at the rear. It's just a clean setup, I think, cleaner that way than, than having the rods sticking at the front. Then you have to protect those rods with, with bumpers, even though this one is getting a bumper anyway. But uh, I I like it in the back, and uh, I was I had to cut those the length of those. Um, those are custom uh, tie rods that I made with uh, with bolts and uh, with, with the uh, with the ball links. I bought those ball links from McMaster Car, um, not realizing that uh, you actually need a, a left and a, and a right turn in order to adjust through the bar if you want to make adjustments, you know, manual adjustments. And so they're they all they're all right-handed uh, threaded, but not a problem, you know. So I made these customs uh, custom. Uh, uh, bars here using uh, EMT tubing, just a, a smaller size EMT tubing, half inch EMT tubing. And I inserted some Delrin uh, plugs that, that are threaded for the rods, and then I just cut a, a little sections of uh, threaded rod, you know, to uh, to couple the uh, ball links on each side. So the only thing, that anytime I need to make adjustments, I have to remove one side and then make adjustments that way. But I did make them shorter because they were too long before. I also uh, brought in my kingpin, kingpin dimensions a little bit closer. Before they were like 32, which is pretty wide for a race uh, for a uh, for a go kart. I think the racing go karts are, are about those dimensions. You know, anywhere from 26 up to 30 or something like that. But um, this one was a little too wide, and I figured maybe that maybe my front wheels are too wide. To, uh, to have the proper geometry for this to be able to turn with ease, and that's why my wheels were scrubbing. So they're, they're still scrubbing a, 
uh, a little bit, not as much as before, but it's but it has to do with uh, the fact that I cleaned up the you know the caster uh, you know the caster tilts, and so this is a lot better, um, uh, ri more rigid setup here and, and more um, more precise as before, more solid you know because it's now it's braced to the to the frame and now this is this doesn't it's not even tilting this way before it was it had a little bit of flex that, that way because it didn't have this reinforcement here so that's been reinforced so that's cleaned up i think as best as i can um other than bringing the camping to camping uh dimension a little bit closer because right now it's at 29 inches i think uh i read somewhere that uh these are typically 26 26 uh so i i could bring it in if I take these bars and I flatten the ends, like I said, with my die so that they come in a little bit more inward to these uh, connectors here and that way I can just use one bolt and they'll be a lot more, more, more rigid than what they are right now without the drilling the other hole as I mentioned um, earlier. So that's, uh, that's something to consider, but it's, it's, uh, it's working just fine. The other thing I did is I removed the old, uh, the old uh, arms here. These control arms right here, and I just made these. You know, you can see how how crude they are right now, because it's just uh, again, it's leftover pipe that I had from some bends that I did before, and I kind of messed up on on the bends while I was doing this frame. So that's what these are. Luckily, these are the same the same uh, uh, geometry mirror image, and likewise with these, these are the same geometry. They have this curvature here. You come in here and. Um, and I just uh, drilled this hole. I left this uh, a little bit longer in case I need to drill additional holes, you know, just to get me a little more, more uh, ease, uh, uh, more, more, more throw with with uh, with less effort on the on the uh, steering column or on the steering steering wheel. You know, the longer these are, the, the easier it is to turn the wheels. The, the closer they are to the to this pivot point, you know, the harder it gets. But right now, this is very, very, very easy, very fluid. This is even more fluid than this one here. This one's a little more rigid, but it's very precise. This this one is very precise, uh, you know, so I, when I ride this one, I have to kind of lock my, I'm, I'm holding the handles and I have to lock my elbows to my to my legs uh, just to keep it nice and straight if I want to go straight. Or, I mean, I, I can even manipulate this with uh, uh, with one hand, being, being careful not to jerk it because then, then, then the steering gets very, very, uh, uh, it's very precise in the way where if you steer it, you know, just a little bit, it'll 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 kick in, it'll steer. So this one is a, uh, very easy to steer now that I've adjusted that, and I've also done modifications to the uh, to the location of this um, pivot point right here. So before I had this through this uh, through this hole right here on this bracing bar, and the way I did this is I put a bolt right through it, bolt right through it, and I put a um, I put a, uh, a spacer, a nylon spacer, that uh, where this was riding over that nylon spacer. So I bolted that whole thing that was permanent on this here, and that nylon spacer, about um, about an inch long, was providing the support for this one here. But I also have this locked via this setup here. So this once once this is locked that way, the way I, the way you see it here, with that. Uh, with this uh, bar being inserted into that uh, peg, sort of a nylon peg, uh, kind of bearing peg, over this is not going anywhere. And so I relocated that here using this, um, getting a little more creative and using this uh, this maker pipe connector. This maker pipe connector has, has a tubing, has, has the EMT tubing, uh, about um, about an inch, just enough, you know, to give me the, uh, the clamping uh, support for that peg, and I made the you know, I kept the peg, so the peg is inserted right there. But it also has a the, this tubing because it's it's so wide uh, uh, in, inside diameter. I had to make these uh, plugs for that, so that the bolt, which is a 516 bolt, rides inside that, and this is uh, solid. It, it has no play whatsoever. So that's how I'm doing that. It's working really, really well. Um, so uh, I have to make uh, adjustments here to my covers here because it's just a hitch or tubing. Um, as you can see here, you know, my adjustment, this, this one actually has to be a little bit higher here to, to adjust. Uh, it kind of shifted, you know, as I was writing this, but it's about minor stuff. So those are the things that I did to the front end. Now on the rear end, I'm going to have to uh, turn the car around because I don't want to be in the sun here. So give me a second here.